listening. Assalamualaikum and have a nice day. I am Cik Godila and today we will learn about plants. This is topic for science year 4, unit 4. In this topic, we will learn that plant responds to stimuli. What kind of stimuli? First is touch, sunlight, water and gravity. This is the part of plants and this is the stimulus. Soot and flowers will respond to the sunlight. Roots will respond to the water and gravity. Meanwhile, leaves will respond to touch. Soot and flower respond to the sunlight. The soot and flower of plants grow towards the sunlight. For example, like this, when we place a flower next to the window we can see the flowers and suit move towards the sunlight move towards the window because they want the sunlight plants in the sunlight to carry out photosynthesis the growth of suit towards sunlight is to make sure that the plants can get enough sunlight water and gravity roots of plants respond to water and gravity for example like this Plants need water to prevent wilting and to carry out photosynthesis. The root of plants move towards the water. For this one, the roots will respond to the gravity, where the roots of the orchid move downward following the gravity. The root respond to gravity is to make sure that they always grow downward into the soil to get water. Leaf responds to the touch, for example like this one. Certain plants respond to touch. Respond to touch protects plants from their enemies and the surroundings. This is a Venus flytrap. Venus flytraps have special hairs that when insect creeping on it, both of the leaf petals will close and trap the insect. We also have this one. This is a mimosa plant. The leaflets of mimosa plants fold when touch. Next, we move to the basic needs of plant. Plants need air. Plants need water, space, nutrients, and sunlight. Why? Why plants need all of this? Because they need it for photosynthesis process. Photosynthesis, what is it? Photo stands for light, meanwhile synthesis means putting together. So photosynthesis is putting together the light. Plants can make their own food through photosynthesis process. So this is the requirement of photosynthesis process. The first is carbon dioxide. It absorbs through fine pores on the leaf called as stomata water it absorbed through the roots sunlight it absorbed through the chlorophyll products of photosynthesis there are two products of photosynthesis which are the first one oxygen it released into the atmosphere through stomata and the second one glucose or starch this is the food of the plant. It's stored in the leaf, stem, fruits, roots, and also seeds. This is used for the growth and formations of flower, seeds, and fruits. Now, let's see the summary of photosynthesis process. The photosynthesis process can be simplified as the diagram below. In this diagram, we can see that the sunlight was absorbed through the chlorophyll and the carbon dioxide will absorb through the fine pores on the leaf that call called astomata whereas down here we can see the water was absorbed through the roots after the photosynthesis process complete it will release oxygen to the atmosphere and at the same time it will produce glucose or starch as the food for the plant this glucose or starch stored in the leaf stem fruits roots and also seed. It used for the growth and formations of flowers, seed, and fruits for the plant. 
the importance of photosynthesis to the living things. Photosynthesis enables plants to provide food and it produces oxygen for our breathing. Not only us, it's for all other living things to maintain the balance of compositions of air. I think that's it for our lessons today. You can scan this QR code for extra notes and exercises. But before that, download the awesome apps from the link in the description below bye bye don't forget to like and subscribe see you in my next video bye